The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel to the new video. Ethereum Classic minus 7.15% down in red today. It's not like it was unexpected, but uh, you know, uh, I don't think people like it. Uh, that said, we are still going for this uh, 10 moving average down. Uh, we are still, it's kind of going sideways. Yesterday you had kind of nice green candle over here, but today you are having this uh, red candle. And I think I got some more uh, technicals that I'm going to show you that when are we actually going to hit the bottom and continue on the upside. That's how we got something cool daily altcoins video where we rank coins like uh, ethereum classic uh, that uh, we, we try to find out which coins are pumping which are not pumping which are in uptrend which are not in uptrend what has stopped pumping and is going through consolidation like ethereum classic so if you need some kind of help with picking coins and stuff like that if you are picking coins up here when they are going like uh, i don't know 40 percent up or something like that some crazy numbers uh, then that might be something for you so check out the patreon link down below for that and also check out the telegram link we got like 3300 members right now trying to pump those numbers very nice uh, bunch of guys talking a lot about uh, ethereum classic and shina ibu today so yeah, you know it might be something for you that said let's get in on the charts and see what's actually happening with uh, ethereum classic and where this is gonna go uh, so ethereum classic is uh, having this third day of co consolidation phase we call the the top up here right and uh, you know these things goes um, this is a natural market movement there is nothing no drama in this it did not hit the top and is gonna go through multi-year uh, correction like Bitcoin did in 2017 we are not finished with this bull market that said we are going through some pain period pain period is when you buy up here and then you have to go through all of this until uh, the price gets back into uh, the box where you actually bought uh, bought so this is the pain period right now if you are still hodling because you have to hodl in uh, in uh, in losses and uh, that's painful to do but i'm gonna give you some kind of uh, uh, idea where this might actually bottom out so when we are looking for bottom uh, bottoming out what's happening actually we are looking at some kind of a uh, some kind of uh, indicators that we try are trying to reset back to the normal levels before we can pump again now when these things happen when we go to, uh, too high up uh, one of these things that we are looking for is something called rsi indicator down here uh, we also call it rubber band rubber band indicator because when you extend it you ha it has to pull back right so you can see over here that it went all the way up to some kind of 95 levels 95 on this candle up here that's very high on the, this a daily chart so every every one of these candles these are candles every one of these candles are one day so on this day it went to 95 that's very high you can see previously here we went all the only to 90 and we still got like a multi-week uh, correction consolidation phase before we pumped again and now we it's happening again and we are gonna uh, we are going through the same consolidation phase so what we are looking for is for this to reset and usually they reset around 50 60 levels uh, especially when they are in strong uh, options so this hit only uh, 58 level uh, the bottom here was 58 so what we are looking for if is for this to go to some kind of 60 50 levels down here get into the box here at the same time hit one of these moving averages and once that's done then we can call the bottom and say okay now let's gonna slowly slowly climb up uh, uh, again and uh, continue the move up towards whatever the price is 500,000 you know uh, I don't know I don't know long-term targets but uh, we're gonna continue higher up one of the targets should be I'm gonna tell you right now one of the targets should be uh, this one up here let me see if this is actually correct one maybe this one yeah it's not one target but it, it, it is a resistance it is a slow uh, fast resistance as well so once we start going uh hitting that then around 500 or something like that next time should be uh, we should be getting to this resistance again and this resistance once broken is gonna accelerate the price uh, movement on the upside uh so keep that in mind but right now it's like at 500 or something like that it's not that but i understand this is quite painful to going through but that's that's one of the key uh thing that has to happen this uh error side on the daily has to go down to the, like 50 60 levels maybe even 70 levels but it has to come a little bit more down before we actually can say okay we are at some kind of bottom and we can continue going up again so you have to unfortunately huddle through that you can see on the weekly chart today is sunday and it's still holding up the the more it comes down the better it is i'm telling you the more it comes down this week today it better is it the best case scenario you can have right now is if this candle drops all the way down to the 20 moving average i'm not kidding 
I'm, this happened to 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 VeChain. Uh, VeChain had only one week of correction time, and now it's having two weeks of green uh, green candles, green weekly candles, because it's reset it the indicators on just during one week. Because you, if you remember, Bitcoin had a big drop down to forty six thousand, and it pulled everything down, and that's the week the VeChain actually managed to reset. Now of Unfortunately, there is no Bitcoin to pull this down that fast, but the best case scenario would be this just to drop fast down and just slowly climb up because then you don't have to have that much anxiety uh, watching the price just go bleed, 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 bleed until, until it's find the button. Because if it just goes down, it's over like in uh, in one day and then uh, the, the rest two weeks you will just see green candles all slowly all the way up. Uh, climbing up like this is this part over here is a lot easier when the price just falls down and slowly starts climbing up it's easier mentally and to survive that than going through like slow slow movement down like it's bleeding 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 and then slowly starts climbing up again you know it's just painful it's just painful trust me i know it's painful uh, that said uh, on the weekly chart frame uh, we are sitting right now on some 91 levels so we are not we, we are high uh, and we can have co uh, consolidation and I think we are going to get consolidation either way but if you can pull it, pull, pull it like even uh, less down that the consolidation might actually go quite a bit faster than it actually is unfortunately no good news for you guys uh, today uh, I think this is going to continue going down right now minus 8.23 percent but I'm telling you the, the more this goes down the better this is a small time frame let's look at the four hourly time frame over here uh, these are the same moving averages 10 and 20 moving averages and right now you can see here that we fell here below the 10 and 20 we try to climb above, above the 10 moving average, try to climb back above. I mean, there are still some bully bulls that are trying to push the price up. But uh, right over here, we are against a break in on the downside. Uh, so uh, if we cannot uh, close above uh, 10 moving average and uh, continue the bullish uptrend, uh, this looks like it's going to continue falling down. Uh, I, I'm thinking maybe... I don't think it's gonna go right over there like this, but it might actually go some kind of sideways and then hit uh, sideways on the 50 moving average on the 4 hourly time frame or something like that. But it, unfortunately, it doesn't look good. Uh, this is the line I think it has to break. Something like this. I think this is the trend line. Uh, so until, until we... Right now, we only have two touches on the trend line. Unfortunately, one, two touches on the trend lines. We are not counting this big, uh, big... Uh, a big week up there we can in the next uh week on the on this top because this is more uh confirmed a week than this one up here uh, it doesn't matter why that said right now we uh, have this kind of uh falling uh falling trend line that we are in some kind of downtrend and once we break it at one point this trend line that's gonna that's gonna tell us that we are right now in some kind of trend change and that's gonna be very bullish and after that we're gonna slowly climb up and go to the new highs but right now like I said, you are going through a painful period and uh, that's uh, that's what everybody has to do. But it's going to be good at the end. It's going to be good, but right now it's not that good. So maybe next week already. We got to see what's going to happen next week. So stop by, uh, subscribe to the channel and stop by tomorrow because we are right now keeping doing Ethereum Classic updates every single day. So if you want to know what's going to happen when we are bottoming up and stuff like that, you have to subscribe to the channel. That said, check out again the Patreon link, the Telegram link. The community is growing. It's um, We are pumping those numbers. Very nice bunch of people. Very happy people. Uh, always optimistic, so I like that. Uh, join the community, join the party. And uh, thanks you for watching the videos. You know, that's better than all, all the likes on the video and stuff like that. Because that's uh, that's uh, telling YouTube that, you know, this guy, uh, you know, I like watching him. So, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.